We're tracking developing news now. Just over an hour ago, the Senate Finance Committee approved the new state budget. It marks the latest step in the process that affects every Rhode Island taxpayer. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado joins us live at the State House with new information, including why one Democrat voted no today. The tax and spending plan now heads to the Senate floor. It passed the Finance Committee on an 8-2 to two vote in about a 20-minute hearing. The Senate Finance Committee didn't make any changes to the budget before quickly passing it. Chairman Daniel DuPont says it was a good compromised plan, but he did want more money for resources. Well, we'd certainly like to put more money into education. We'd like to be able to have more money to some of the economic development uh, incentives. The tax and spending plan raises no taxes and cuts beach fees in half. Some of Governor Gina Raimondo's proposal, like an increase to the cigarette tax and to the minimum wage, did not make it in. Today, she praised the budget for its economic strength, but expressed disappointment that some of those proposals were cut. I wanted an increase in the minimum wage, and the assembly, regrettably, uh, didn't do that. I think it's time to give working families a hand. Republic Republican Senator John Pagliarini says the removal of those proposals by the governor is the reason he voted yes today. There's a lot of bad things that didn't make it into the budget that I look at as a positive that helped push me to say yes on the budget. And the senators who voted no were Republican Edward O'Neill and Democrat Juan Pichardo. Pichardo going against the majority, he says it's because of the cuts to the community service grants. Again, the budget goes to the full Senate tomorrow before it hits the governor's desk. Live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News. At the State House, the budget has just passed the Senate Finance Committee. It was approved by the full House just before midnight. Let's get right to Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado live at the State House with the latest on the debate that affects every Rhode Islander. The Senate Finance Committee just passed the budget a few moments ago after about a 20-minute hearing. Now, again, this is how your tax dollars will be spent and how you will be taxed over the next year. Now, this budget does not include any tax increases, and it also gives a tax break to many retirees on their pensions, and it cuts the beach fees in half. Now, the vote was 8-2 to two in the Senate Finance Committee, with one Democrat and one Republican voting no. One very vocal Republican, John Pagliarini, voted yes. He told me it's because of taxes not not going up and also because of some of the proposals the governor originally made which were removed by lawmakers on the house side the minimum wage increases uh, the heavy tax on the marijuana the e-cigarettes the cigarette tax there's a lot of bad things that didn't make it into the budget that I look at as a positive that helped push me to say yes on the budget. Well, I would certainly would love to have more resources to be able to do uh, more, but I think, you know, it's a budget that continues to invest uh, in education. It's a budget that continues to invest in, in economic development. And that was Senator Daniel DuPont, the chair of the Finance Committee. Now from here, the budget will go to the full Senate tomorrow and then to the governor's desk. Coming up new at 6, you'll hear from the governor, and I'll also tell you why that one Democrat went against the majority to vote no today. Live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.